Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. In the previous episodes, we learned how to install, how to use different components of Angular material. In today's episode, we will learn how to use Angular Matte Tooltip. Tooltips are very important. It helps in better user experience and guiding the user and informing them what the details are about. We'll learn all about that in practical. But before we get started, I request you friends to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Also, if you have any technical doubts or queries on the tutorials, please drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Let's get started with the practical of implementing Angular Matte tooltip. So far, our, I'll first show you what we are up to in our application and then we'll continue to learn. So the first thing I'll show you is the output we have done so far. So we have built our beautiful application. We have learned to put some components. We have put expansion panels, some chips, badges, list, etc. All these are there in the previous tutorials. Do go through them. Now let's get started by adding the mat tooltips. So the first thing we need to do is include our mat tooltip module in our application. So you can check it out here, mat. We can see here mat tooltip module. I have imported that in our common module file which we have created throughout this tutorials. And I have included this in our app module.ts file. That way all the modules are available in our application now. Now let's go to our component. So mat tooltip you can apply to any element any tag don't worry it would work with all the tags as long as you have imported the correct module let's get let's see some of the examples now let's for example i want to put it to this expansion panel and i want to tell the user what should for example on mouse over i want to see a message to tell the user that click to see personal details so let's go here and to add tooltip we'll say mat tooltip equal to click to expand personal section so now this is the tooltip which will start appearing on top of the expansion panel let's see that in action take the mouse over the expansion panel of personal and we see the message which says click to expand personal section now on mouse over of experience no message so let's put that as well all right now let's go over so when we go here it says click to expand experience section click to expand personal section right so this is how we can use our mat tooltips on any element i'll give you one more example of how to use on tabs so just copy the same mat tooltip and apply it on the tabs so like i said you can apply to and it can be any messages that you want to display to your users now, when we take the mouse over invoices, all right, uh, mat tooltip, okay. All right, let's create a section and then check it out. Right, so here it's not working. Let's do one thing. Let's let's check the spelling mistakes. No, it's good. Matt tooltip. Right. I think there is a directive issue that's happening. So that's OK. We can try it on some other element to show you. Cut it here 
and let's go to any other wherever you want to apply let's say i want to apply it on top of this cards where i have a drop down so it should start appearing it says show i'll give a better show cities so when you take go over it it says show cities so this is how you can use mat tooltip on elements that you want to use in your application you can apply on almost all elements like we have seen give it a try and let me know if you have any technical doubts or queries i'll be happy to help you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep encouraging and keep supporting me thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode